How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days Live. We're on day eight, and I believe this is the ninth episode. So day eight, day nine. You know, it's getting out of order, but it's getting there. It's getting there, okay? We'll, we'll be on day 21, and it'll be like, this is the 25th episode, something, something like that, something like that. But welcome back, guys. Thank you for tuning in. You already guys know the drill. I explained it last episode. If you didn't watch it, make sure you guys do. We are farming for resources, okay? But we're doing it with the houses. We're not actually, you know, going out there with a pickaxe and everything and, and doing all that jazz. Not yet. Definitely going to be doing that, but not yet. But we're going to go ahead and start completing this quest. I think it's a uh, it's, it's a clear area quest, so we're going to be killing some stuff. A whole, a whole bunch, hopefully, a bunch of stuff. I want to get the tier two quests on my trader i want to get all the way up to tier four i want to i just want to grind him okay i just want to keep doing it over and over and over again i want to get them good quests get those good resources get those good rewards for the quest get the good xp for the quest i want to get all of that okay every single last bit of it and the only way we could do that is if we keep on doing dudes quests and that's exactly what we're doing all right some dudes got us going over here i can't really see what it is this is a big house there's definitely going to be stuff upstairs it, it's got a basement yeah this is a pretty big house bro this is a pretty big house i'm i'm low-key excited a lot of resources okay big house a lot of resources um apparently we just go straight in through the front door all right let's do it anything in there nothing in there i've got a room to the right or we could go to the left and i think i've been in here already this looks extremely familiar i probably destroyed this and was like let's go this way instead um let's see here i would have gone down here i'm hearing zombies so maybe not maybe i didn't go down here the first time though there's Zephyr, a zombie to my left. Take him out. Big boy as well. Take him out pretty easily. The heck is that? The zombie just went through the wall? Excuse me, sir. Did he just go through the wall? Am I tripping? Y'all saw that, right? Did dude just not go through the, straight through the wall? Straight through the wall, too. Right there. He went straight through the wall. I know y'all saw that. Rewind, bro. I know y'all saw that, but it's okay. We're still going. We're still going. I got to get all of this blue stuff. I'm just trying to see... Uh, I don't want any zombies here when I come in through here, okay? Looks like everything's been uh, been pretty much dead. That was just a bunch of loot time. The, the bad music went off and everything. So, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're fine. All right, so we've pretty much explored all of the downstairs here, which was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be a lot more stuff up there. Um, but I believe that I've already looted the upstairs area portion. I think, I think. I might be completely wrong here, but this, this place is looking mad familiar. This looks like one of those areas where I went and I just went straight for the loot room. I didn't care about the zombies. I didn't care about anything except the loot room. And that's exactly what this area is starting to look like. I'm hungry and I don't have food. I actually do have, like, not a steak. I'm not going to eat it yet just because I want to kill everything before I even even consider settling down here yeah i already looted all this which sucks all right let's go ahead and collude everything and uh we're, we're just gonna start the quest we're just gonna start it up that's what we need to do okay all right here we go so we already know that there's a decent upstairs area um but we're gonna we're definitely gonna be hitting the downstairs area first i honestly forgot okay i was gonna say i forgot how to get there but uh obviously this is the way to get there they just they just let it happen to you bro they just let it happen to you Okay, let me get some lock picks out of this purse can i please thank you thank you love to see it we got them occupied at the door while we're doing that we might as well take out these blue boxes here because we're definitely going to be needing them come on don't don't break down a door yet please please let me okay thank you now now you can now you can come okay okay you were early okay i need you five minutes after the, the time you arrived let's go ahead and loot this little cardboard box here let me get something that's not i don't need that that is that was that was bad excuse me sir let me get through here might be something coming downstairs oh you got a limp with you brother come on come on come on let's go let me get you two one shot one kill oh you taking four of them nice i like it i like it let's take this down is that a crawler what are the chances the crawler is gonna get to me before i'm done uh before i'm done mining this and then one at top too let's see let's see what happens first i'm not even gonna look around if he hits me he just hits me let's see what happens oh he's getting close i hear him oh he he, he wasn't that close Hop over him real quick. Thank you, sir. Don't need you. Now it's time for the upstairs room. Now it's time for the upstairs room. Boom. Take you down. Let me get some food because I definitely need that. Okay, decent. I like it. And upstairs is this away. This away. Oh. What was y'all doing in the closet? Big man in the closet with the skinny. Okay. What was y'all doing, brother? I don't know. That's a pretty classification. You know what I mean? That's that's a, there's not a lot of room in here for two people to just be in here, being in here. You know what I mean? That's that's a little that's a little interesting, huh? A little interesting. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to do that to you. Thank you. And you got a friend in here, don't you? Where's your friend? Thank you, thank you. And quest is done. Come on, now it's time for the loot. Decent. Let me get some ammo. Decent. Come on. What's in here? What's in here? Let's go. All right, last one, last one. Take you down. Bop and. 
Whoa. Let me see. Let me see. All right. So we got a Spear Hunter Value 7. Hits with a spear scored in quick succession do 10% more damage per hit up to 30%. That's actually not bad. That makes you want to be spear class, which I actually might do. And we got a pistol, Pete. Degrade shots fast, 9 meter minute weapons degrade slower. That's not bad either. Since we're going into the uh, perception skill tree for our sniper class build, we actually might also do the, uh, the spear stuff. Um, I feel like it would probably just go hand in hand instead of the clubs we'll see though we'll see it'll, it'll be a later down the line type of deal i've never used spears before in this game so it'll be an interesting experience to like actually use spears for your main like melee damage type stuff you know what i mean so i don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see if we do it'll be definitely later down the line like i need to level up like a good 20 times before that even happens you know what i mean so it'll be it'll be a good later down the line thing um but yeah i think it's time to leave it's time to it's time to turn in the quest to the trader he's probably waiting for me and everything i gave him the quest five hours where is he i'm sorry for keeping you so long mr trader guy there's a good mini horde of mi like a mini mini horde i don't even know that is considered a mini mini horde it's only three zombies but sir let me see what you got for me oh okay 100 more nine millimeter ammo definitely would rather take that oh it's just berry supplies i do not like berry supplies quests i really don't I am not a fan of bear supplies quests. I'm not going to do those. Special jobs, not going to do that one. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait until his quest reset. I think they reset the next day or something like that, hopefully. It's almost the next day. We got, what, four? We got six hours. So I think in the next six hours, our best bet is just mining resources and try to get this, this forge up and running. I think that's the best bet. Excuse me, sir. You're not going to let me pass, are you? You're just not going to... That's what you get. That's what you guys get. Thank you. I'm not even going to kill you guys. I just I just need to get by. That's all. I just need to get past you. You guys were just in the way. Okay? I tried to run through you. Didn't let it happen. Okay? You just in the way. But yeah, we definitely need to uh, start working on getting our forge up and running, upgrading the base a little bit, getting those main resources like metal and wood and everything like that. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do 100%. All right. So I go. I, I went ahead and crafted the forge, got the forge up and running already. Got some a uh, iron and clay in there. We're going to be using that for the nail so we can expand on our storage. The next thing that we need to do, let me go ahead and get closer so he can beat him down. The next thing that I need to do is create a wrench or find a wrench. Probably going to make one because this entire time I haven't found one. And getting a wrench isn't that hard. Like, we can already make the forged iron inside of our forge, right? We got that checked. Mechanical parts, we can get that easily. We might even have some already. Let me check in here. Um, No, we do not have any mechanical parts. But I feel like we could get mechanical parts easily if we just do some more. Uh, if we. Oh, what? A level six. When did this get in here? Never mind. Never mind. We don't we don't need one. We don't need one. We got a level six wrench. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good forever. Level six. We're good forever forever okay never mind but yeah i thought we was gonna need that we don't need that next thing we're gonna be working on is the workbench which means i gotta level up because i need to get the advanced engineering little uh little thingy thing which means we gotta get some perks and that is this one right here let me see uh craft work ventures there we go so i just need to level it one time i need to be intellect level four which means i gotta level up three times actually level this one up level that one up and then get the advanced engineering right here so we gotta level up three times Quickest way to do that, I feel, is just quests. We're going to be doing that. Um, it's almost 2200, so I think we're not going to do a quest right now. Just put our inventory up. Probably mine the trees since they look pretty dang grown. They're looking for some loving of chopping down, so I'm going to go ahead and give them that. Um, and hopefully, about the time that happens, we'll just do some quest day nine, level up a few, and we can go ahead and make that workbench. All right, guys, it's four o'clock in the morning. I spent my time uh, developing a little bit on this death pit down here for when the zombies fall um i think i you know it's definitely better than what it used to be it's not done yet it's 100 not done yet but it's gonna look better than that um but it's four o'clock in the morning we got houses to raid we got resources to get and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing um i need to level up a bunch of times that's our main focus right now is just leveling up let me drop off my resources real quick before i go on a talking spree so there's two things that we need to get done since trader joe's isn't open and i'm not confident that his quest is going to be changed i kind of don't even want to go over there we need metal and we need a lot of it and we also need to scrap some cars and get the resources from that so that's the first thing we're going to be doing we're just going to be going around and uh scrapping a bunch of cars scrapping trucks scrapping school buses anything like that if it's a vehicle we need to scrap it and we need to get a lot of resources from it especially for the robots a uh, little portion of you know the plan that we have going on and we have a level six wrench so we might as well make the best out of it yeah, right let's go ahead and kill this how did she hit me kill you thank you very much but yeah we're gonna be scrapping a bunch of stuff that's the plan that is exactly the plan so i'm over here checking out trader joe's we finally got the tier two quest my friends we finally got the tier two quest i'm thinking we do a night only that's what i'm thinking what time is it it's 10 o'clock in the morning actually you know what we could do we could do this fetch real quick 
because it's no 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 no. let's do this clear zombies 168 uh meters we'll do the clear zombies and then that's when we'll do the night because it's still early in the morning you know what i mean but i'm, I'm glad we're at tier two now okay now we're gonna get better loot and everything everything is coming to plan all right let's go ahead and clear out these zombies and then we're gonna get that night only the night only is gonna be crazy okay the night only is going to be nuts okay this is gonna be our first night is only quest ever all right let's see what we got here 40 meters away are we is this the the power plant no way it's definitely this house right it's definitely this house right no way it's the power plant it's definitely this house i was about to say bro i've never done a quest out of a power plant before usually usually them the guys don't have a lot of loot so we gotta we pretty much just got a clear area let's go ahead and learn uh the location of the zombie so we can do that quick fast and easy take you down excuse me sir thank you very much let me get something in this car let me get let me get some iron that's the main thing i need right now just a boatload of lead and iron lead and iron i'll take that i'll take that let's go ahead and you know we'll collect these at the end first and foremost we just need to we need to find some food and some water oh wait wait, wait wait there might be water in here there we go there we go thank you very much because i am my man's is starving and he is he's he's dehydrated as well what's in here nothing in there oh cooking pot definitely need that for the uh for the cooks the cooks i should probably look in the rest this is empty don't tell me i've looted this already don't tell me i've looted this i was so excited bro i think i looted this already i was so excited yeah it looks like it looks like i've did i loot loot it or did i just like loot it you know what i mean like how, how far did i go you know um it seems oh what's, what's down here what's down here okay i don't hear no zombies no zombies yeah i loot looted this yeah this this is wiped clean and they're watering area. yeah yeah let's let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and activate this quest because there's there's nothing in here for me absolutely nothing how do i here we go here we go here we go here we go and ooh, i didn't know that was down there now the adventure begins i didn't know this was down here all right this must be the the way that i went the first time excuse me bop you're gone one hit you're gone one, wait wait three get out of my face bro i'm strong now okay i'm strong now if we could get some forged iron out of this guy that would be wonderful i definitely need that haven't crafted any so i know this is gonna give me some uh that'll be that'll that'll save us some time and resources for sure one more 10 10 like it like it like it what's in here okay okay we gotta we got some engines okay i'll take that let me guys know what i should do with engines i think you use engines to craft like uh cars and whatnot but um i mean if i have like an excess amount of engines what do i do with the engines at that point like do i just sell them you know what i mean because I, I got a lot of engines i've already like smashed up a bunch of ambulances smashed up a bunch of cars and everything and i got a good amount of engines already i want to say i got like maybe four maybe around there like four engines and there's only what like a handful of cars in the game like four cars i'm pretty sure not every one is going to need an engine and if it does need an engine it's not going to be like more than one type of engine you know what i mean so I feel like i just sell the excess engines i got nice a little food go ahead and eat that and let's go ahead and head upstairs i'm pretty sure the big boy loot is probably probably in the ceiling you know what i mean in the roof i did not want to open that for you you should say thank you next time such ooh, such trying to kill me why didn't you get knocked down thank you thank you thank you you see how i say thank you mr zombies you guys need to you guys need to replicate that learn from me okay there goes upstairs however i'm a little bit interested in seeing what's in here hmm. i should oh sir don't be sneaking up on me like that you're not dead are you thank you i do need to start collecting these cloths though because cloths lead to uh with glue you can make uh tape out of that which tape is a really valuable resource so i do need to get as much cloth as i can for that that and glue as well and the only way to make glue is with bones and mul mul murky water so definitely gonna be collecting a bunch of that um the more of the uh the empty water bottles that i have not the empty water bottles but the glasses like that the more of those i have the better you know what i mean we're gonna need them late game for sure or not really late game i guess mid game we're gonna need them for mid game because i don't even consider myself in mid game anymore so we're gonna we're definitely gonna need the mid game now it's time for upstairs unless there's something important in here I mean, it was locked, you know what I mean? Bookshelf, paper, paper's not bad. Trash bin, ah, I guess, I don't know. Was it worth it? It didn't, it didn't really hurt doing it in the first place. So maybe it was worth it. I don't know, what's in here? Okay, okay, not too bad. Now I'm ready for the big boy loot. I'm ready for the big boy loot now. That's what I really want. Let me see, someone in there? Knock, knock, you're not dead. You hit me, now you're dead. Someone probably down that hallway. All right, let's see what's in here. I could probably ooh armor parts not bad definitely gonna need that later glue not bad paper not bad everything's not bad at this point i'm just collecting everything Ooh, what was that actually 
We got ourselves a Baylor Moss schematic. I actually like that. I think that lets me hold more bullets or something like that, right? Whatever it does, it's important. I like it. It looked cool, too. How did I hit the, the frame of the door and not hit you? How am I one-hitting everything as well? I'm not used to that. <laughs> I'm not used to that at all. I'm used to freaking just like... Oh, sir. I was, I was trying to read that. Sir, there's too many of you guys. One more. Aw. There we go. There we go. How do I... Uh, We got a cold jacket. Let's wear it. Mine is better. So we're scrapping that. Let me get that. Let me get that cloth. We'll send a trash bin here. Okay. Decent. Anything? Wow. Two for two. I like it. Okay. Where's the big... Oh. Eh. I need the big boy loot. I need the crates and everything. I need the... Uh, I need the weapon bag, bro. Where's the weapon bag? It's gotta be. It's gotta be this way. To right. Yes, sir. Weapon bag. And we got a metal spikes mod installed on clubs. I guess we could use it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, right? I don't have a club on me though. It's the one thing. But once I do get a club, if I get a club that's better than this, then I'll I'll put that on there for sure. Oh, we got a leather trunk as well. Okay, we got some iron boots, shotgun stuff. All right, that's not bad. Lucky looter. Let's go ahead and equip that. I'm going to actually scrap that because I'm not going to use it. Um, and I already got one of those on there. So I could, what does this do exactly? It does more damage against wood. So I guess I can't really put it on anything. Um, we'll repair that. Get rid of the short pipe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, repair that. Get rid of the short pipe. Go ahead and re-scrap that. I'm just trying to clear my inventory real quick. You scrap that. We don't really need bones right now. You can do that. I'm going to keep those on me. I don't like scrapping those because I know you use those for resources. Um, or in a recipe rather, not resources. Use those in a recipe. So I don't, I don't want to scrap that right now. And the last thing we need to do is hit this up. What's in here? Oh. Wow. Two for one. Not only do we get the SMG auto turn schematic, but we also get the shotgun turn schematic along with a card. Bro, this is massive. I don't. Let me see if I can even craft those already. Um, yeah, I can't do the shotgun because I don't have an advanced engineer and I can't do the SMG. Oh, I can do the SMG. Okay. Okay. But the shotgun still, that's pretty good as well. You know what I mean? Hex, yeah, that's a W right there. Nice. I should have sold this uh, the SMG one. <laughs> I thought the SMG one was the shotgun one. That's why I did that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the... What Do I even have boots? I do have boots. Yeah, you're going to scrap. I don't need you. Is that everything? Yep. All we got to do now is talk to the trader. Let's go ahead and do that and get our night quest. Hello, Mr. Trader. It's nice to see you again. I'm sorry I'm walking slow. I got a, got a lot of stuff on me. Now, I blame it on you. You gave me a good house, okay? You gave me a good house to go to, Mr. Oh, Trader. Many All right, what we got? Oh, a pistol. That's actually good because I don't have anything. I literally don't have anything that takes uh, the pistol ammo. So this will be, that's a W. Herbal antibiotics, cure infection, 10%. I do have an infection on me though. Two of those, I mean, it's only 10%, right? That's what, 20% chance to cure my infection. So I think I'd rather take the pistol on this one. I think I'd rather take the pistol. All right, my good sir, I'm going to need this night only quest. Thank you so much. It better give me good stuff too. Better give me good stuff. So now I could just use this pistol um, instead of wasting my uh, my big boy ammo on the uh, the pipe machine gun. I could just use the pistol now. And I got like a decent amount of pistol ammo as well. If we get a suppressor on this guy, that'd be nice. Nice little red dot with a little suppressor. You know what I mean? Headies only. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it a lot. Can I go over here? Damn. I try. I keep trying that. I know it's not going to work, but I keep trying it like it's going to work. You know? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm in the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Day nine. Next day is going to be day 10. We got some good stuff coming up. We got that night quest coming up and the traders trades are going to change. So I'm interested to see what he has going on. Uh, hopefully I see you guys in the next episode. I'll see you guys later. Peace.